Whew, wow, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. So I didn't watch the Oscars, but I got up this morning and I was reading the headlines, having some coffee and there it was, boom. Like literally, Will Smith slaps Chris Rock on stage because Chris Rock was insulting his wife by basically joking that, referring to her baldness, her shaving her head, that he's looking forward to seeing her in G.I. Jane 2. For those of you who don't know it, G.I. Jane 2 is a movie where Demi Moore plays this ultra hardcore soldier and he's, she's got like a shaved head and everything. It was quite entertaining at the time, actually. So I wanted to talk about this event because I, I felt it was kind of interesting for, for a couple of reasons, right? There are some people, mostly Will fans, who are basically defending him, saying that, you know, Will was right to slap Chris defending his wife's honor and it was wrong of Chris Rock to joke about uh, a person's illness, right? And you know, just looking at it like that, you have to agree, right? You know, you should not make fun of people's diseases. Well, see, here's the thing. And before you think that I'm gonna side with Chris Rock on this, I do, I kinda do, anyway. But, but that's besides the point. That's not what this video is about. But first, let me explain why I am on sort of Chris, Chris's side on the, this, um, this dilemma, this uh, conflict. So Chris Rock is a comedian. He's been so for the past 30 years or so. He's a pro. He knows what he can joke about and what he can't joke about. There are certain topics that you just flat out can't joke about. Now, baldness is something that you can joke about. And the reason for that is a lot of people are bald out there, okay? Now, before you go on and say, oh, but Jada, she has this terrible disease that is making her hair to fall out. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but so does like 40% of all men, like billions of men have hair falling out of their skull. It's, uh, it's a very common disease. Now, I'm not saying that she has the same disease as men do. That's more of a genetic thing, right? But she's not going to die from this thing, okay? The worst thing that's going to happen to her is she's going to have to shave her head for the rest of her life or allow for certain bald spots to appear. That's it, okay? That's the end of it. So she making fun of her or her disease, as far as diseases go, this is a pretty harmless disease. I've been reading up on this disease. You can check it if you want to. She's not gonna die from this thing. She's just gonna lose hair. That's it. And by the way, there are treatments, but I, I figured that she knows what she's doing and if she's shaving her head, I guess it's not worth it for some reason. Now, the big question here is, I see three options here. One, Will Smith was right to defend his wife's honor. That's scenario number one. Two, Will Smith was a bit tipsy and very nervous on the edge. You know, is he gonna win the Oscar or not? Maybe he had a couple of drinks too many. Maybe he became oversensitive and he overreacted. All right, that's the second scenario. And number three, which I think is way more likely here, is that this whole thing was staged. I said it, it was staged. It was planned, it was scripted. How do I know? I don't know, but here's the thing about the Oscars, the Academy. The Academy is not some financial institute or anything like that. It's, it's basically a reality show, right? They get funding from views, from ratings, like ads and stuff like that. So they need to get views. And recently, because of YouTube, because of social media, people aren't really watching too much TV. The whole watching the Oscars live, like a lot of people don't really want to do that. So they have to improvise. They have to create headlines. And how do they do that? Well, they put in these very interesting happenings that occurred during the event, right? So for example, a couple of years ago, there was this movie that won a movie like best movie, best movie of the year award. And it turned out that was the wrong movie picked. Apparently the person reading from the note, he got like the wrong note or something. Um, baloney, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. It was done to get headlines. And I think that this thing also happened to get headlines. I believe that both Chris Rock and Will Smith was in on it all this time. Now, that's just a conspiracy theory on my part. I could be wrong. Maybe there's something deeper going on here. For example, it could be also the fact that Will Smith, now let me tell you something about Will Smith. I watched every single episode of Fresh Prince and Bel-Air and every other episode, he made jokes about Uncle Phil's 
baldness. So to Will Smith, I, I would say that if this was truly an event where he felt annoyed with the whole thing, I'm sorry, Will, but don't make TV shows that make fun of bald people if you're gonna be feel offended by it later. You know, don't don't be angry at Chris Rock for creating a culture where it is okay to joke about bald people. This is our culture. This is a culture where we feel it is okay to joke, joke about baldness. Now, the thing about Will Smith that I have to mention here is that I don't like the guy. I never did. I loved Fresh Prince and Bel-Air, but then again, I was a teenager. But the thing that struck me about Will Smith is he's always doing things to get attention. You know, like he's a whore for attention. Like that's the way it is. A lot of celebrities are, a lot of actors and actresses are that way. Like, and Will Smith knows how to get headlines. He knows how to create blockbusters. He picks just the right projects. You know, he'll never t pick the risky projects. He'll always go for the movies that get the most views. He's on YouTube for crying out loud. He has his own YouTube channel, which kind of made me a bit annoyed. He, he got like something like a million subscribers within like a couple of months just because he was already famous. I was envious. Okay, I was completely jealous, that's the truth. But I never liked the guy. Fantastic actor, of course, yes. And did I see King Richard? Yes, I did. And he, he was awesome in that movie, absolutely. But it was sort of tailored and handmade just to get at least a nomination for an Academy Award. He's at that age, he's in his 50s, he needs to get the Academy Award. He just needs to have it. But it wasn't enough for old Will. He has to get the attention as well. So everybody today, even me, creating a video about this, even putting a poll on my channel talking about it, everybody's talking about it. It's on headlines all over the world. Coincidence? Maybe. But when you're talking to, when you're talking about somebody like Will Smith who is living for the attention, it's really not that hard to understand. Now, let's talk about this joking about baldness. Is it okay or not? Chris Rock, who is a pro at comedy, he knows that there are certain things that you can't joke about and certain things that you can't, and he felt it was okay to joke about this thing because culture, in our culture, there's a lot of things that you can't joke about, but baldness, it's totally fine because it's so common. Now, I want to talk about baldness from a personal perspective. My father is bald, my grandfather was bald, and when I was growing up, I had this terrible fear of growing bald. Being bald is no picnic. It's not fun. And so I can understand when some people don't like being, you know, joked about because of their baldness. I certainly wouldn't appreciate it. But that's the thing, you know, when you joke about someone, when you're giving someone a hard time in the spirit of humor, then sometimes people's feelings get hurt. Now, we could be all like a woke, mature society and say, no, we're not gonna joke about anything that can offend people's feeling. But I'm personally very afraid of a reality where you can't joke about anything. At the end of the day, if you can't joke about, like, let's remi remind ourselves what jokes are for. They're about to make people feel better about themselves, at least the majority. Now, I understand from Jada's perspective, with looks being a part of her personality. Like, people's self-esteem is so connected with the way they look. And I can understand that when you suddenly start to turn bald, your self-esteem is just shocked, you know? And I understand that she's probably been crying a lot about it, and Will has been seeing this, and he could have been reacting emotionally to it. My wife is suffering, and you're out there making jokes about it. It's not funny. Now, I also happen to know that Will and Chris, they're friends. I've seen them play basketball in clips. I've seen photos of them together. They're friends. Now, if they really were friends, here's what the reality would look like. Will would have a talk to Chris afterwards, and he would say, I did not appreciate that joke. Or vice versa, Chris Rock would have given Will Smith a heads up. I'm gonna make some jokes about your wife's baldness. I hope that's cool. That's not what happened. He joked about it, and Will walked up on stage and slapped Chris Rock. So personally, I think the whole thing was staged. If it, if it looked real, remember, these are very skilled actors, all right? Will Sp Smith especially, I mean, he won an Oscar that night, right? So now there is all this talk, do we condone violence and stuff like that? And the Academy Award is commenting and there is some debate going on if they're gonna take back the Oscar from Will. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen, but it's possible. You never know. 
the winners here are actually Will Smith and the Academy. They got lots of views, lots of attention because of a joke. And to be completely honest, this joke wasn't that offensive to begin with. Like, he joked about her baldness, but it wasn't like he was comparing her to Mr. Magoo, you know? He was comparing her to G.I. Jane, and that's a pretty cool movie. That's a cool character to be compared to. So as far as jokes are concerned, as far as offensive jokes are concerned, I don't think this was it. It wasn't very offensive to begin with. I mean, let's face it, he could have done a lot worse. Chris Rock could have done really poor, poor jokes about uh, Will Smith's wife, right? Now, the thing that I'm kind of interested in is the whole gender discussion here. Like, I know for a fact that comedians have joked about bald male actors a lot. For example, you know, Vin Diesel, The Rock, like so many actors who are really bald, people joke at their expense all the time. And now a comedian is joking about a female bald actress, you know, just something interesting about that. Is that the whole mentality that women are somehow weaker and you can't joke about women when they're bald, but you can joke about men that they're, that they are bald. Like, you know, a bit of hip hop, it's a bit of a hypocrisy here, I think, but that's just me. Anyway, I'd really like to know what you think about this whole thing. Let me know in the comment section below, was it right of Will to do what he did? Or was it that he was overreacting? Or number three, my personal favorite, the whole thing was staged by either the Academy or Will Smith himself. But I'm leaning towards the Academy. I'm leaning towards that the whole thing was staged. And I gotta say, Chris Rock really was a pro handling the whole thing. He was cool all the way through. But nah, I'm not buying it. This was a reality TV show spectacle. Spectacle? Spectacle. My English is horrible today. Okay, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.